In the post-World War II era, Kankakee was an industrial powerhouse. In the 1980s, the national economic collapse did not spare Kankakee. One by one, companies disappeared, taking scores of jobs with them. Poverty, crime, and unemployment skyrocketed, damaging Kankakee's reputation and increasing racial segregation throughout the city. In 2015, Kankakee was ranked number six on Law Street's list of most dangerous Illinois cities. Many Kankakeeans continue to struggle with our reputation. Others are optimistic about our possibilities. A grassroots movement of people working together to redefine our city in new and inventive ways is on the rise. I contacted about 20 artist friends living in the area and told them it's time to make our mark and reclaim our city through the arts. Feed's family of members and volunteers pooled resources and turned the space into a creative haven. Within a few months, we opened our doors to the public with art exhibits, concerts, sing-alongs, film screenings, spoken word events, open mics, classes, workshops, and enlightening discussions. We have witnessed an increase in economic development in the surrounding area. We are redefining our city through the arts and working for a changed public perception of our city as a whole. We are also working towards a safer Kankakee by offering more experiences for our community to take part in, livening up the street at night, making it a happening space, attracting positive energy. We know that a strong community is one that works together and pays attention to one another. Collaboration is found at the root of almost everything we do at FEED. Our community arts program is helping to bridge the various corners of our community. We are asking Art Place America to help us continue building our community arts program. We would like to introduce a new aspect to the program, bringing youth together with police officers in an ongoing educational and collaborative setting. Many of the relationships our young people have with police is based on what they read or hear in the media and through traumatic local experiences. So like they think like since they got a gun and everything like they hired they higher than everybody so like they abuse their authority. How do you feel threatened and you have like all these weapons and it's all we got is hands? Does anyone feel comfortable no. approaching a cop asking for help? Nope. When serious events occur, uh, we find that the communication with the younger people, the youth. Uh, in our community uh, is lacking. The relationship with FEED, uh, the police department, the school district, and the community of Kankakee at large, uh, I, I believe is a positive thing. There can't be anything but positive come out of this. By forging stronger relationships with officers in a positive setting, our youth will gain a greater appreciation for the officers, as well as the officers gaining a better understanding of our youth ultimately creating a more connected and unified community.